inexplicable, enigmatic, still surviving ancient Uparts. Named after their academically claimed creators, the Kachari Ruins, a set of large and incredibly heavy relics whose purpose, or indeed true age, remains a largely ignored area of study by any individual who depends on institutional funding for their career survival. Yet there are many other ancient sites which litter modern-day India, whom have an equally enigmatic history. Some of these sites we have covered in the past, like that of Kailash Temple, a remarkable ancient achievement carved directly from a bedrock of Earth with such artistic vision and accuracy that any logical explanation for its creation remains a challenging and still elusive reality surrounding not only the many sites we have already covered, but countless others which still lay either undiscovered or deliberately ignored by mainstream media. Yet our next area of interest has encountered a polar experience, having been officially acknowledged as one of India's most important of ancient sites. Known as the Udiagri Caves, they are a set of 20 rock-cut caves near Vidisha, Madhya Pradesh, and according to mainstream historians, dates from the early years of the 5th century. We have often postulated that some ancient religions, having survived the test of time, and we have often encountered Buddhist or Hindu belief systems engraved upon currently inexplicable stone carvings and ancient structures, which we feel are indicative of a lost civilization's advanced capabilities. Cave 5, in particular, possesses depictions of ancient reptilian creatures, later attributed to ancient religious systems. Yet the original inspiration for these carvings is an ongoing mystery, and whether inspired by religious beliefs or possible real events, is an ongoing mystery that mainstream academics continue to stifle the legitimacy and mainstream adoption of. Claimed as that of Vishnu, this depiction of a giant reptile consuming comparatively tiny human figures is a depiction which is undoubtedly of great historical importance Yet we hypothesize that only a small portion of existing human history has ever been explored in detail, or indeed permitted to be a mainstream possibility. Udiagri literally means the Sunrise Mountain, and is, interestingly, not the only ancient site with this name located within modern-day India. Udiagri Wazi was a Buddhist and Bhagavad Gita site by the second century, as evidenced by the Heliodorus Pillar. Yet this inhabitation is possibly merely the adoption of a surviving structure. Additionally, while the Heliodorus Pillar has supposedly been preserved without damage, many other similar sites are all but dilapidated ruins, possibly suggesting that this claim of creation is in reality a hoax. And while Buddhism was prominent in Sanchi near Uriyagari in the last centuries of the first millennium BCE, it is highly possible that the religious teachings date from a lost period of ancient history. According to Das and Willis, recent archaeological evidence, such as the Udiagari Lion Capital, suggests that there was a sun temple at Udiagari. The Surya tradition in Udiagari dates from at least the 2nd century, and possibly one that predated the arrival of Buddhism. It is this tradition that gives it the Sunrise Mountain name and we feel is yet more supportive evidence in defense of the channel's postulations. It is a place which we find highly compelling.